The meeting was called in response to the detonation of Hezbollah's communications devices across Lebanon this week. What human rights chief Volker Turk said constituted a violation of international law. These attacks represent a new development in warfare, where communication tools become weapons simultaneously exploding across marketplaces, on street corners, and in homes as daily life unfolds. Authorities have reportedly dismantled unexploded devices in universities, banks, and hospitals. This has unleashed widespread fear, panic, and horror among people in Lebanon. Civilians were among the 37 dead and more than 3,000 wounded. Lebanon blamed Israel and demanded the Security Council call out the perpetrators and condemn the attacks. Isn't this terrorism when you target a whole population in their cities, streets, markets, shops, homes, while they tend to their daily life? Israel did not claim responsibility, however, and blamed Hezbollah for the cross-border escalation of rocket attacks, which have displaced tens of thousands of civilians on both sides. If Hezbollah does not retreat from our border and back to the north of the Litani River through diplomatic efforts, Israel will be left with no choice but to use any means within our rights to defend our citizens and enable the evacuees of the north to return to their homes. The United States called for calm. It is imperative that even as facts emerge about the latest incidents in which, I reiterate, the United States played no role, all parties refrained from any actions which could plunge the region into a devastating war. This was the fourth meeting on the situation in the Middle East called by the Security Council this week. Council members and UN officials alike have expressed concern about a widening war that ultimately will lead to the deaths of more civilians and undermine international law. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, the United Nations. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.